Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys something pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to run multiple operating systems on one computer. Um, uh, Windows 8, the developer preview came out about two, three months ago. And um, I was kind of looking for a way to... Um, uh, I was looking for a way to run that without actually installing it, just to see if I liked it. And um, I stumbled upon something called VMware Player. And VMware Player is uh, an application that you can download that allows you to install other operating systems to run alongside your current operating system. Or anyway, wait, not alongside. It does not run alongside. It runs within. So, well, I'll show you an example. Um, so I've got VMware Player installed. And it just takes a second to load. Um, but anyways, yeah, it runs within the. It runs within your operating system. So, uh, as you can see, one sec. As you can see, I've got my Ubuntu 64-bit um, uh, downloaded and installed. So if I wanna. Um, if I wanted to run this, I could just double click on it and it would run. And you can see like the information. I gave it a gig of RAM, and you get to. Well, I'll show you how to set all this. So, say um. So the first thing you need to do is download VMware Player, and I'll put this the link to this website right here where you can download it in the description. And then you just come right here, click download. It's the easiest thing in the world. Download, install. It's just like any program. Um, yeah. So, uh, the other thing you guys need if, to follow along if you want to is an operating system. And some good options, if you're looking for something fast to download, I would recommend Ubuntu, because it's only like 600 megs, so it took me about an hour to download. Um, it's pretty good, it's Linux, um, yeah. And the other, if you guys have more time, the other thing you guys can download is the actual the Windows 8 developer preview. I'm going to be installing Ubuntu because it's a little smaller and I've already got the Windows 8 developer preview downloaded and installed so I don't want to go through that again. Um, but it's the exact same process so um, you can download this. I would recommend downloading the this version not this version because I don't think you guys are developers so yeah download this version or this version depending on 32-bit or 60 or 64-bit. So download one of those and put it wherever in your downloads folder, and then come back to this. So uh, I assume you guys have one of those downloaded. I'm gonna continue. Um, come to your home tab and go create a new version virtual machine, and um, you want to click. It might this might be your default option. You want it to be this. You want to install a disk image. It's an ISO file, a .iso. So browse, and as you can see, I've got my Linux Mint 12, and this uh, I'm gonna be down. I'm gonna download, or I'm gonna install this Ubuntu 10.10. .10. So open. Uh, next, full name, Sam Putmaker. Username, your username can't have any capitals, password, spacebar, spacebar. Next, uh, I'm going to name this Trial Ubuntu for YouTube. YouTube. You guys can name it whatever you want. Uh, this place, this is probably fine. This location is probably fine. Next, uh, you don't want it to be this. You want, oh, well, if you guys have the space and you know you have the space, then go ahead and install it to be 20 gigs. Uh, I'm just going to go like 8, or actually I'm going to go like 6. Because, um, yeah. And it doesn't. these don't really matter. Uh, I'm going to store virtual disk as a single file because I'm going to delete it. So that just makes it quick. So next, finish. And then this will load. And this loading takes a while, guys, so I'm going to pause this. Alright, this is loaded. Um, I got this. It's my, my removable disks. I've got my uh, webcam, uh, my 
or my um, Wi-Fi and my external hard drive. So okay, and this will start to load again. And this part, oops, takes a while as well. So I'm gonna pause this. All right, this loaded. Um, hope it loaded for you guys too. And it's just gonna continue to load. You probably like your screen. My screen went kind of crazy. Um, yeah. But so this will just install, and if you've ever installed an operating system, it's, I mean, really basic. It does, it walks you through the entire thing. So um, from here, I'll uh, I'll walk you through this. But if you've ever installed an operating system, you're good. And from here on out, you don't even need to watch the rest of this video. So for the rest of you guys, this is for you. Um, this is the install thing for Ubuntu. Uh, this will this will just take about an hour, so you can like see all this. Um, yeah, this will just take a while. And um, okay, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to install this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to exit. I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna come back to this. All right, I'm gonna pull VMware Player back up. Just takes a second. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys my Ubuntu 10.10 .10 that I already have installed. Show you guys some of the benefits of having it. Um, I really like the Ubuntu environment for programming, so I use uh, CodeBox. So I'm gonna, so I've got that downloaded and installed, and everything working on that. Um, I've got, I think that's really the only program I've got set up right now. But I mean, that's kind of big. So I'm gonna see what this does, and yeah, uh, I have two monitors. I don't think you guys can see them, but you can actually make this these run together so it's called unity and um... this has to actually load but alright i'm gonna pause this alright so that's done restoring okay and um... then it just loaded as you can see so i've got code blocks i've got all my Compiz doesn't work in this. You can't have um, the drivers enabled for Compiz, which is kind of a bummer, but you still have your multiple desktops and you can still have no menu if you guys have ever used that. Um, you can, I mean, you can surf the internet, you can do whatever. Like I said, uh, it's your operating system on here, so. Um, I thought uh, there's another there is another program called this. If you guys have ever heard of it, VMware Player, it's called um, uh, let's see, what is it called? Oracle Box VM, and it's pretty much the same thing. So if you've ever heard of that, then you've probably heard of this concept. Um, that is all I have for today. Um, if you have any questions or comments, don't I mean feel feel free to ask. You can contact me at hacksyouhard at gmail .com. Leave me a comment, send me a message on YouTube, and don't forget to comment and rate and subscribe.